In the latest of our series of reports from Denmark, we visit the peaceful but windy island of Samsø. Back in 1997, Samsø was earmarked by the Danish government to lead the country's renewable energy revolution. The islanders took up the challenge and harnessed the power of the sun, the wind, and other natural resources. Farmers even used the heat from refrigerating cow's milk to warm up their homes. But the biggest investment is a line of 10 offshore wind turbines, which helped make a small fortune for Samsø residents. The boat at the dock is ready to take us to the Danish island of Samso. About an hour into the voyage, we come across a strange sight. Five of these ten offshore wind turbines belong to the Danish government, three to private companies and two are the property of Samso Islanders. Each turbine produces 8 million kilowatts of power a year. In 1997, Denmark made Samso a renewable energy island. The man behind the revolution is Soren Hermansen, the director of the Samso Energy Academy. Today he's introducing the island's outstanding renewable energy facilities to a group of Danish visitors. We will learn today and do tomorrow. Yeah. So that say the experiences of today will form the energy world of tomorrow, of the future. And I think this will be green. It has to be green. That's the part of it. There's um, 50 meters up to where the turbine is uh, driving around here. This is a uh, if if. Um, this is a one megawatt windmill at the time 10 years ago. There are 11 wind turbines of this kind on Samso, which supply enough electricity for the whole island. Big ones for you. Thank you. Yeah. What about the camera? Can you have it in here? No problem. Okay. Although it's 10 years old and not as tall as the offshore turbines, the 50 meter climb to the top is a struggle for our Dar Eye reporter. Yep. The roof is the highest point in Samso. When they are going around, when the wind is over 7-8 meters per second, they go 21 turnarounds per minute. Then it goes in here in the gearbox. This uh, gearbox translated so when it goes in the generator, the rotor is going in the generator, it goes 1,500 turnarounds per minute. The huge blades need some strong bolts tightly screwed down to hold them in place. A computer monitors wind speed and direction and adjusts the angle of the turbine to keep the gearbox and generator moving. And here is the toolkit. Back on ground level, if you thought the clean energy here only comes from the wind, then you've underestimated the Samso Islanders. This 70-year-old farmer extracts valuable oil from rapeseed that he grows himself. His old vehicle runs on the biodiesel his crop produces. Tastes good. Yeah. Yeah, it really tastes good. <laughs> The oil can be burned or consumed, and the crushed yeah. seed can be fed to livestock or made into fertilizer to grow more rapeseed. Everyone on the small island seems to have caught the green energy buzz. 83-year-old Mogums Waller keeps a daily record of how much energy his solar panels produce and loves watching his meter turn backwards. This is the most beautiful thing I've seen happening in Samso since I was born. From the wind and sun to the wheat chaff in the fields, everything can be harnessed for energy. The milk produced by dairy cows has also joined the race. When milk is cooled for storage, the extracted energy is used to heat homes. Very simple. And there's money in the pocket. <laughs> there's money. Save a lot of money and heat. The gentle pace of life on Samso may seem a world away from modern living, but as the wind turbines continue to turn, the island is accelerating its dependence on clean energy. 
Perhaps Samsung is the shape of the future world.